The Arctic fox lives in one of the most inhospitable places on the planet, amongst the Arctic tundra. But there is one place that is considered even harsher. The Antarctic. Known to be the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth, Antarctica's largest purely terrestrial animal is the flightless midge, which measures just six millimeters, one quarter of an inch long. Although the Arctic fox has amazing adaptations to cope with the cold and survive times of prolonged food scarcity, could it survive in Antarctica? Also known as the white fox, polar fox, or snow fox, the Arctic fox manages to survive the harsh climate using incredible adaptations it has evolved over millennia. Arctic foxes hunt small animals. Their most common source of prey is lemmings, often eating dozens a day. But they also hunt voles, other rodents, hares, birds, eggs, and fish. Like many predators, Arctic foxes also scavenge. This is usually from carcasses left behind by large predators such as polar bears and wolves. Although both polar regions are known for their freezing temperatures and challenging conditions, the Arctic and Antarctic are very different places. Whilst the Arctic is home to a variety of plant life and many different animals from Arctic hare, lemming, muskox, and reindeer, to grizzlies, Arctic wolves, and polar bears, the Antarctic biodiversity is much more sparse. Millions of years ago during the Cretaceous period, Antarctica was covered in ferns and conifers and even a temperate rainforest. But today, the only vegetation consists mostly of lichen and moss. The animal life that lives in Antarctica is predominantly marine. This includes penguins, blue whales, orcas, colossal squids, and fur seals. Although millions of years ago enormous dinosaurs once roamed the continent, today there are no land predators in Antarctica. So, would Arctic foxes be able to make Antarctica their home? The foxes are good hunters and can catch fast-moving prey. In the Arctic, they can locate lemmings below the surface of the snow by using their excellent hearing. They can hear the small mammal's footsteps as they scurry underneath the snow out of sight. The fox will then stand completely still to precisely locate the lemming before launching its ambush attack. This typically involves the fox leaping into the air and then diving straight down on top of the unsuspecting lemming. In the summer, they also use their element of surprise to catch seabirds. In Antarctica, although there are no lemmings or terrestrial mammals of any description, there are around 40 species of birds that breed there. During this time, Arctic foxes would be able to feast. Smaller birds like petrels, cormorants, and gulls would be easier for the foxes to catch. The larger penguins may not be so suitable. Eight species of penguin live in and around the Antarctic. Only two of these live solely in the Antarctic, and those are the Adelie and Emperor penguins. The others also reside in the sub-Antarctic. The largest species of penguin, the Emperor, stands up to one meter tall and weighs up to 45 kilograms or 99 pounds. With Arctic foxes weighing around three kilograms or 6.6 pounds, they would be unlikely to hunt them. Even the endemic species of penguin migrate huge distances from their breeding colonies to their foraging grounds, which would make pursuing them difficult. The smaller penguin chicks may be a more viable option for a hungry Arctic fox. With Arctic foxes unable to follow marine prey during migration, they would rely heavily on seabirds for their food. Nineteen species of birds breed in Antarctica. They are found in large concentrations during the summer months due to the scarcity of snow-free ground. They thrive during the summer months when the constant sunshine means zooplankton, cephalopods, and fish are abundant in the water. But as winter approaches, many leave and head north sometimes even all the way to the Arctic. Southern Elephant, Wettel, Antarctic Fur, Crab Eater, Leopard, and Raw Seals give birth to their young in Antarctica. The seals would be easy prey for Arctic foxes. In the Arctic, they feed on ringed seal pups when they are relatively helpless and unable to defend themselves. They may have to develop different tactics for securing seal pups in the Antarctic. Leopard seals are renowned for their aggression and powerful bite. 
Arctic foxes are used to this cycle of feast and famine. The same peaks and troughs in abundance happen to many of their prey species in the Arctic, and so they are adapted to cope with this kind of pressure. They have the ability to depress their metabolism in the winter to conserve energy. They can store huge amounts of fat from the food they have feasted upon during the summer months. But in such a cold environment, many animals burn through their energy stores just to keep warm. The Arctic fox, however, conserves its body heat exceptionally well. During the winter months, their fur thickness increases by 140%. Their fur is a brilliant insulator, and they do not start to shiver until the temperature drops to minus 70 degrees Celsius, or minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. They also reduce heat loss through the pads in their feet, via two adaptations. Firstly, unlike most canines, their pads are covered in fur, which helps to keep them warm. Secondly, they possess a counter-current heat exchange system in the blood of their legs. They can divert heat from their body to their feet to keep the tissue above freezing point whilst maintaining their core body temperature. This preserves heat and prevents their feet from freezing or becoming painful. The temperatures in the Antarctic are around minus 30 degrees Celsius or minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit in summer and below minus 80 degrees Celsius or minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit in winter inland. It is slightly warmer around the coast reaching 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer and minus 40 during the winter. It holds the record for the coldest temperature on Earth at minus 89.2 degrees Celsius or minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the coastal temperatures are within the range that Arctic foxes live. Their adaptations to the cold would help them to survive the climate of Antarctica. Arctic foxes, although predators themselves, fall prey to many different animals in the north. These include red foxes, polar bears, grizzly bears, wolves, and golden eagles. In the Antarctic, the foxes would be the only terrestrial predator on the continent. They could wreak havoc on the bird populations with nothing to keep their numbers in check. In the Arctic, the fox has a brown coat during the summer months to blend in with the Arctic tundra and sparse vegetation as snow melts and the ice recedes. During the winter, they shed this brown fur and develop a white coat, which provides camouflage in the icy snow. If they were to live in the Antarctic, where there is no bare ground, and where the ice sheet is over a mile thick, they would need to adapt to only producing a white fur coat to blend into their surroundings. They wouldn't be able to ambush potential prey if they had their brown summer fur. Although Arctic foxes might be able to survive in the Antarctic on the seabirds and seal pups, they may struggle to find enough water. Antarctica is a polar desert. Along the coastlines, the annual precipitation is 200 millimeters, or 8 inches. Although their prey would provide some water, in the Arctic, the foxes also feed on berries, which are not available in the Antarctic. With no rainfall and the continent's fresh water locked up in the ice sheet, the foxes may struggle to keep themselves hydrated. Some seals have been observed to eat snow in order to ingest fresh water. Arctic foxes may need to adapt to survive in Antarctica. Marine mammals can tolerate ingesting large volumes of seawater through adaptations in their kidneys which allows them to excrete more salt in their urine whilst retaining as much water as possible. By evolving a more efficient salt extracting process, Arctic foxes could drink seawater as a means of staying hydrated. The wildlife on and around Antarctica has lived free from terrestrial predators and has adapted to that environment. However, if Arctic foxes were introduced to the continent, then there would be some stresses on the ecosystem. Seals that spend a great deal of time on the land would be at risk and may change their behavior accordingly, such as breeding on isolated islands rather than the mainland. Their numbers may decline, which could have a knock-on effect throughout the ecosystem. But what do you think? Do you think Arctic foxes could survive in Antarctica? Leave a comment to argue your opinion. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.